Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Splashdown! In the last episode, we went to Lake Havasu, which is in the USA, of the many USA tracks in this game, which is not a surprise because it's an American game. We're going to be racing as Haley Hollister in this one. I don't know how many times I've raced as her, but I wanted to pick someone who's not that good. She's kicked my ass a few times, but she's not that good. She handles well. Uh, well, the, her jet ski does. Well, as you see, it changes with the the riders, the jet skis, they can be the same jet skis. So I don't know exactly how all that works. Because you can't choose the jet ski. It's so freaking weird. Maybe the different the second game is a different one. But um we're gonna use orange for this first race, and then I guess we can go with blue for the second one. And I don't even know if I'm choosing the same colors over and over again or anything like that, but I'm just too lazy to go back into the races after I'm done recording to go and lock um, some new wetsuits, and they're all over the freaking place. I don't know what tracks I haven't gotten them all from yet, but... Oh, you want a party? No, I don't. I want to play a uh, jet ski racing game. I, I just went to the bathroom. Why are you asking me if I want a potty? I mean, that, that works in, like, the, the New York area and, and also Australia or, or England. Or I don't know freaking how many places parties pronounce like that, but you get the joke. Uh, we're going to Loch Ness, Scotland, because we haven't done that yet. Recording this at night. We're gonna go see if we can find the Loch Ness Monster, and we're also gonna go sailing out, out of bounds, so we can get that giant squid to throw us in here. Or maybe it would be the, the Loch Ness Monster in that case, I don't freaking know. This track has uh, some really long straights, though they're probably compiled with like ramps and stuff in between. Here we go. Okay, so it's raining. It's been a while since we had a, a raining race. Remember, uh, like, like three or four episodes ago, we had a, a race with a bunch of rain in it. It's a good little... Ramp to the start. Got to do some stunts so I can fill up this meter real quickly. I remember this track. It has all kinds of little bridges and stuff that you could possibly jump into. Yeah, that's why I chose this track. I knew it'd be a, a fairly difficult one. And damn, I think my analog stick is doing that thing again, where it's as if like I'm, I'm pushing the, the nose of the jet ski down to the water. We're running third now. We're running second. I didn't even pass anybody. I hit the buoy. We're okay. The meter's full. I don't need to do any stunts uh, for a while actually. So, yeah, the normal version of this track does not seem that difficult, and I don't know how they're going to change it up for the hard version. Uh, yeah, it's... Look at the clouds like in the background. The clouds are great. So uh, it looks like a painting, actually. Uh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross helped make this game. I don't even know when he died. But this game came out in 2001, so he's probably still alive. And I swear Bob Ross didn't die for a while after 2001. I mean, some of his, his shows look like they're from after 2001. I don't think they went any later than like 2005, maybe, so maybe he died around that time. I have no idea. I don't know that information. So you've seen a lap around this track, and I'm kicking their butt. I don't know if they have that much rubber banding to get back around me, but... Pop another stunt in there. I've already done that one, but... I guess we'll just fast forward to the end, because they're not really putting up a fight right now. Ow! Yeah, I did that. And, oh no, we might not win now. We're falling into second place. Never mind. I'm back in the lead again. Well, that was very easy, as I win by like 8 seconds, and, and she loves winning, she says. We won ridiculously easy in this Home Depot orange, so now, let's get on to this beautiful dark blue. Yeah, I knew you'd pick me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hard difficulty? Well, it changes that, but it, it's the same video. I don't know why they could not have just put a little more date on the disc and had video footage of the other version of the track too. This version of the track is slightly different from the one we just raced out a while ago. It's actually not raining anymore by the way. Uh, it looks a lot more beautiful Whoa, this track whenever we got the rain off. But the thing is I probably wouldn't have said that. I probably have been said something along the lines of this is just a normal day race or something um, if we hadn't had the rain beforehand. But that rain makes you appreciate a nice sunny day. because. Yeah, logic. I need to build up that performance meter. 
I've been calling it the performance meter, but I don't know if that's exactly what they want us to call it. But I did the training, and I think that's what they did, they, they called it. So they're adding some barriers here. They actually added this to the track. You can duck under that and go into this cave and come out the, the mouth of this rock. And I don't know if this was actually here whenever we did the, the first version. I mean, maybe it was. It's just you couldn't get to it because they replaced the hills so that it was, like, out of limits or something. I mean, I can hop over that if I duck under the water and, like, lift it out and above after I, I do that. But just go around the mouth. I can try it next time by, though. If I take the right route to be in that situation. So, we're in fourth place after the first lap. There is the, the Loch Ness Monster right there with its tail and its head and its, its camel humps. I don't think the Loch Ness Monster used to have, like, camel humps, but they, they gave it some of that stuff. It's like the Loch Ness Monster is, is one-third long-necked dinosaur, one-third uh, seahorse, and then one-third camel. So I, I'm, I, the only reason I say, like, seahorse is because, I mean, it, it lives in the water, so I mean, part of it's got to come from the water, right? Don't touch me. He hit, the, he hit the roof of the cave. Don't lean too far backwards. Good God. You do that shit, and then you're falling off the jet ski. Get off of me. I got this performance meter all the way up, and I'm leaning back, and yet somehow she still rear-ended me. Okay, that's what I was talking about. You can, like, push into the water, and then you'll come out into the air. Okay, we're coming up on the end of the second lap. Freaking... I don't know who that is in second place in the purple. It's not... It, it's... It's not the, the Japanese for their old name that I don't remember. I don't play this game enough to remember everybody's names. I think it's the guy with the goggles. But I haven't been hearing this... This person in third place say anything, so I have no idea who it is. Some red guy in the lead right now. He's taking the ramp. Now I've got the performance meter full, so should come out ahead, or I gained a little bit. Come on. It's the, it's the, the black guy. I don't know the name of any of these characters, so that's terrible. But he's black. He's, he's African, he's not even African American. He's not American. I don't know what his name is. I don't know what anybody's name is right now. I'm trying not to hit these damn trees. It's not racist to, to, identify someone that you don't know the name of by the, their skin color or, or their race or their gender because that's all you know up until that point, right? But it's the last lap. I've got the lead. And I'm going to keep the lead and win this race by like 0.2 seconds. So yeah, the difficulty increased. There's so many times where I actually could have like wrecked myself. Like in the last lap, if I don't dive into the water soon enough whenever I go under that thing. And you don't even have to. You go into the caves, you could possibly just go crashing into the rocks. Uh, let me go look up the freaking names real quickly. Um, I also have to make this thumbnail. I should have a good one because um, the, the the black guy was right behind me at the finish. This guy right here on the purple jet ski is the guy that I was fighting for second place with. And I kept on thinking it was her, Kyoko Takahashi, who I consider the Japanese player of the game because she's got a Japanese name. That sounds a lot more Japanese than Chinese. And I only know so much. Plus, she has a very anime ending if you complete the championship with her in the career mode. And, um, and her pink right here looks a lot like the, the purple that Raphael Martin has. It was Raphael Martin. And then there is that um, this, this guy somewhere in here. Jeremy Wallace. That was the guy that I was battling for the lead with. And yeah, he, he's black. He's, he's the one black character in the game. Okay, so that, that's all I really had to say about that. Thanks for watching this episode of Splashdown. Um, that was easy. That was a pretty easy track. The thing is, I've raced all these tracks at this point, considering career mode. And plus, I've gotten good at this game. I've gotten very comfortable with it, so I'm pretty good at every track. But there is one track that I definitely want to go to next time, and that is... Uh, let me go into arcade real quickly. Okay, Chuki, let's go! I don't even know what she just said, but... um. What is it? Uh, Venice, Italy. Yeah, that's where I want to go in the next episode. I think this, this is a no-jump track. It's all really sharp, 90-degree corners. And, you know, they, they come really quickly, and it's a very unique one. Um, so I've been wanting to go this one for a long time. I kind of thought about making this a multiplayer episode, but I don't really have anyone to, to do multiplayer with on this game past the two episodes of multiplayer that we've done up until this point. 
So, yeah, we'll just do this one single player, and I don't think we're going to do any more multiplayer on this game, unless I decide to go to those stadium tracks with somebody um, long after I'm complete with this Let's Play. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.